I don't think that he will do anything which in his eyes will be seen as a betrayal of the Queen, but I do think that he realises this is a piece of history. This is the only time that the monarch has ever intervened to collapse a trial, a million and a half pounds of public expense. And, you know, Paul Burrell's aware this will go down in history, and he wants to make damn sure that people aren't left with the memory of a load of people queuing up in court in the last two weeks to dump on him and his relationship with Diana. He wants to make sure that record is straight. So no betrayal of the Queen, but she will have reason to feel uncomfortable, will she? I think the Queen, like everybody involved in this story, everybody else has had their say, everybody else has done what they think is right for themselves, including, my view, the Queen. You know, I think she acted from self-preservation more than, as Paul Burrell would say, from preserving him. If she wanted to preserve him, she could have done so long before this trial ever started. <laughs> Finally, just how upsetting is all this for Her Majesty and for the and for her grandsons? Well, of course, it is upsetting. I think rather more for the grandsons uh, than for Her Majesty because she is inured to it. Of course, she's she's not uh, an unfeeling person, but what she is is a very reserved person, and she doesn't show her feelings underneath her calm exterior, underneath that sense of dedication to the country and her job, of course, there's a great deal of suffering going on, but think of the suffering she's had this year.